Yo, what's up guys? Steezy Collector back with another Marvel Legends review. This is the Iron Man, classic Iron Man um, figure from the Iron Monger Builder figure wave. So, first up, I'm just going to say straight away, this is my least favourite figure from the line. And if I could have bought the rest of them without him, I would have. But now that I have him, I'm glad I do have him. He's just one of those figures that grows on you after you actually own him. But... Yeah, the dude I bought from, Dan, thank you again for selling me these figures, man. Um, he wanted to get rid of him as a lot, and of course I'd do the same. I'd want to get rid of the whole waves together. And so, I, you know, great price, so I bought him, and now I'm glad I own him. So, that just having that said straight away. Um, so let's have a look at this guy. Let's give you a top-to-bottom look straight up. You can tell he is a lot different to the other Iron Man figures. Um, mainly because he has muscle tone and stuff like that as where the other Iron Man only have I have metallic suits this guy you know you can see the muscles in there and all that so still suit but that's just how he is so that, that was the reason I didn't like him I didn't like that he had muscle link, like muscle toning and all that but like I said now that I have him I really really am glad I do have him um, he did have two different heads. Comes with this head that I like. Well, we all love some head, right? But this is the head that I like. <laughs> this is the head that I like the most out of the two. There's this one and a more rounded classic one. I like the uh, one with the little horns. They're like raised at the top there. I like that. I can just gives it... I just reckon it looks better overall. Um, the paint like I, I've seen Shardom's Prime's review of this and the painting on the like uh, the little black the eyes and the mouth were way off on his but mine came out really really clean clean there as well perfect so I'm happy about that and right, Arc Reactor there in the middle came out pretty clean as well it's a little bit a little bit sloppy there to the bottom but it, it's all good I could touch it up if I really felt like it but it doesn't really bother me too much yeah, see. So the more I look at it, the more I do like the um the muscle definition. Just gives it that classic look, which is obviously what this figure is. Um, and the boots were another thing I didn't really like. They actually look like shoes and all that. But you know, I like it now. It doesn't have painting on the bottom. Unfortunately, that sort of sucks. I don't think they do that for the Marvel Legends figures. None of the ones in this wave, I think, had any painting on the bottom thrusters of the feet. But, actually, I was filming a um, G.I. Joe review, and I accidentally deleted the video, so I was just like, fuck it, I am not in the mood to redo that. So, um, I was talking to a friend, he's a Facebook and YouTube friend, NG Chris, and I asked him, um, I had told him I had two or three three more figure reviews to do in this line and he asked if I could do this one next so here you are man classic Iron Man review so this does not hinder at all you get a really nice repulsive blast out of there it is painted there not too much paint detail just a little uh, creamy colored speck same as them there but you do get a nice pose there and this guy is really buff I do like that um, he does have these things on him as well they don't move or anything, they're just little knobs there, sort of hinder the articulation of the leg going out that way, so you, you know, have to maneuver around that, but whatever it is, it's all good, I just have mine standing up. Um, on the exter... what is it? Um, I mean, one of the other armors that my brother has, yeah, he has it as well, but these actually move, so you can get them out of the way and just flip them up out of the way. Alright, let's take a look at the... Take a look at this guy's articulation. Dude, I couldn't even talk in that last review I was doing, man. I was just stuttering for days. Alright. So, the head's to swap out on a ball joint. Nothing too fancy about that. Uh, you get... Looks down that much. It's pretty good. Looks up a whole lot, so you can get a nice flying pose out of him. Um, rotates, no problem. Yeah. Arms go up about that high, down 360, double jointed elbows, don't get too much out of the double jointed elbows where they are there, um, bicep swivel, and the 
wrist rotates and is on a hinge. You get, ooh, you get a um, ab crunch, goes forward that much, back that far, so it's not too bad, it's pretty decent. Rotate right there at the waist. Like I said, the hips are hindered by these, but it's on that uh, the joint where you have to rotate it around and all that. So it's a little bit annoying. And you do have upper thigh swivel. You have double jointed knees. Get a nice good bend out of that. Um, does it rotate there? No, it doesn't. Didn't think it would. Ankle up and down and it does not have an ankle pivot so that sucks that's another reason this guy is my least favorite ankle pivots are awesome and him lacking one is definitely points taken away this guy comes in just on six inches and there's a size comparison between the comic iron patriot and the movie iron patriot um he's shorter than both of them and he's a lot shorter than the uh, movie iron patriot and in case you're wondering, here's a size comparison to a rice bubble. You know, just because, in case you're wondering, never know. With everything considered, I do recommend this figure. He's still a nice addition to any Marvel or just Iron Man collection. So do go ahead and pick him up and don't just buy his uh, Build-A-Figure piece. So anyway guys, that was my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'm still pretty new to doing Marvel Legends reviews, but I, I hope I'm doing okay. Um, let me know if you enjoyed by giving me a thumbs up or commenting or something. And stay around because I'm going to take some sweet photos of this guy to have um, after I say bye. So, bye. Peace, dudes.